Hello everyone, welcome to The Pit Stop. I'm your hostess Raja, and today my guest is your father's favorite Russian hooker spy, Katya. Привет! Katya. Thank you for having me. Ooh. Thank you for being <laughs> here. How's it going? Everything's okay? Terribly. No, yeah, but it's a day at a time. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I hear you on that. No, I can't wait. I'm excited for the new season. I'm actually happy to be here in this capacity where it's just about clawing uh, at the details. Ooh, yes, and there are a lot of details we have to talk about today. You know, this particular episode was really interesting because no one was eliminated the last one. We we're finding out that the extra new queen added on to the cast is the one and only... Cynthia Lee Fontaine. Cynthia Lee Fontaine. How you doing, Miss Amores? Are you ready to see my cuckoo? How do we feel about that? Well, I think that we need to install a cuckoo counter, because I think I clocked about 47 cuckoos before the first half of the show. Do you think that Cynthia had an advantage coming back? Oh, she has a huge advantage. Having done the show twice, I the first time is all nerves. But the second time, you go in really kind of knowing what to expect. Let's go ahead and talk about the first challenge today. It was a, a cheer challenge. Now, I know you. I would have killed this goddamn thing if I had walked out and saw a giant Olympic-sized tumbling spring floor. Yeah. I would have just pissed and shit myself, put on my leotard and just like bam, 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 stuck the landing. Ugh. I could see you completely nailing that challenge. That would have been so much fun. And those girls with those tired-ass cartwheels, oh. not an athletic bunch. Who even does cartwheels anymore? It's not even the 80s. So they're choosing teams. We've got the Nina team and we've got the Cynthia team. Mm -hmm. Nina brings up, as she's choosing her team, she says to James, Because I have a heart for the underdog, I choose James. How could she already be an underdog? Do you think that's strategy? Oh, B, oh you know what I mean? Like calling right. her out like, oh, I'll take the underdog. Oh, it's like bring setting her, her up. That is some serious A plus, like, conniving strategy, if that's the case. Damn. Yeah, I think it would have hurt my feelings a little bit. I probably would have started crying. But when people hurt my feelings, I tend to become more powerful. And get a huge boner. Yeah. Speaking of boners. Yeah. Valentina is super cute. She's so put together. I, for, by the way, 10 months in drag, that's bullshit. Oh yeah, let's let's talk about that. Oh, you want to see me 10 drag. months in drag? Yeah. Uh, this is like 10 plus years in drag and I look like I've been doing it for about six months. I don't buy that for a second. Regardless, I am living for her beatnik French beret confessional fantasy. <laughs> totally. She seems fully unfazed by any nerves in the competition. It doesn't feel good to be chosen last, but little do these queens know they got the superstar. Do you think that played into her being sort of the last chosen? I don't know. Do you I think it's jealousy. I think at that point in the game, it's all just what kind of connections they've made mm -hmm. right away. She's probably a little bit hard to crack. Either she's doing something off camera that's really loathsome and terrible, maybe she smells like shit. I don't think, I've, I've, I've met her a few times, she doesn't smell like shit. She actually smells like flowers. God damn. All right, challenge is here. James is, is doing her thing. She's starting to lose some of her confidence. I, I can yeah. see her sort of like withering away. Coming right through the door, you can see that she's unsure of herself. In my opinion, you have to walk in there with such a delusional level of confidence that it's completely unshakable. Yes. Because those whores are there to just cut you down. Yeah. So we have Coach Dom. Palangi. Palangi. And. What a sexy guy. Oh, Excuse me. Extremely sorry. Extremely to... sexy. I would do a full twisting double back somersault right onto his cuckoo. If you know Can you I show mean. us how you do that? Absolutely. No, don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the challenge, who did you think was the most powerful? Who do you think that did the best job? Well, of course, uh, Valentino is great. She's always on, mm -hmm. which is so smart and so great. I uh, really was impressed with Eureka getting up in the splits, too. I it's mean, always like... those big girls. It adds so much drama and wait, literally. Yeah. You hear the, the whole arena just boom. The next challenge, the runway challenge, was a white party realness. Have you ever been to the white party? No. I am such a dirty, disgusting, Me clumsy, too. gross person. I don't do laundry. I don't, it would just be like a, an off-white, beige, kind of tannish <laughs> party. Mm. Stained. Yeah. Now, which of these looks did you think was the best? My favorite two, Valentina and Shea Coulee. Mine also. Yeah. I loved it. And they were on such different uh, ends of the spectrum. One was more spacey, yep. and then one was like this beautiful traditional bride. And she it's pure camp too. The, sh the way that she comes out, she's like, do you think that the judges made the right decision sending James home this week? I think so. Yeah. It's always the toughest spot to go home first, but yeah. for these first couple episodes, they're really it's just like the pressure's on to really scramble ahead of the pack, and if you get left behind, then it's... 
I think that the judges made a made a very good decision in choosing Valentina as the winner. And with the bottom two as well. Yeah. Kimura Black, I was, no, I love Tacky. Mm. You know, um, but yeah, me they, too. It just seemed like Tacky not deployed in the appropriate way. She looked like she was about to go on like a gangbang with a bunch of sailors during like Fourth of July weekend or something. In the beginning of the episode, Kimura was very, very confident and kind Cocky. of kind of a Cocky. kind of a Cocky. Yeah, Cocky bitchy. Yeah. Do you think that her being saved will kind of change that a little bit with her and give her some a reality check, if you will? I, I hope so. You know, it's always such a risk to walk in because, you know, you walk into the workroom the first time and it's very much like, you know, come on, other bitches, you know, I'm the top dog, smell my hole, for I'm us the best. Who, who have dual purposes for our holes. That's disgusting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely got a reality check, so it'd be interesting to see how her behavior is modified, if at all, in the next week. Hmm. I hope so, because, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe I want her to stay a and the show will stay really fun. And, and, I know. Yeah. See, that's the thing is, as need, a viewer, I, some... I want a ruthless, nasty, yeah. trashy f***ing bitch. And finally, who do you think are the front runners? OK, I'd say Valentina, Nina Bonina, Sasha. I'm definitely team Sasha Valor. I would be shocked if Peppermint didn't go far. Mm. Oh, and Pheromone. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. Katya, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us this week. <laughs> sorry, You sorry. are constant LOLs, and I'm so glad that you came in and joined me today in this dialogue. It's been really wonderful to have you here. Raja, whether it's a monologue, a dialogue, it's always a pleasure, a privilege, an honor, a treat, and a delicate treasure. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> and thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here at the Pit Stop. See you next week. And thanks again, Katya. Thank Bye, you. Bye, everybody. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.